For the following exercises, use the graphs of f, shown in figure 4, and g, shown in figure 5, to evaluate the expressions. Okay, so we have two graphs here. We have the f graph as labeled by this, and we have the g graph labeled by this. And we just have to find out these uh, four functions, these expressions, right? Okay, so this is super easy. We're going to follow the tips and tricks down here. And if you hear my dog barking, sorry about that. <laughs> he just loves to bark. <laughs> so for the first one, f of g of 3. Okay, so just know that any time that you see a number inside a parentheses of a function, this is always the x value. So for number 1, we need to find out where that x value is. It's going to be a number on the inner function. Inner meaning the most inside of this composite function. So I'm going to just pull it out. I'm going to say g of 3 equals, okay, so we just got to figure it out. We know that the 3 is the x. So now since it's g, I'm going to be looking at this graph. So since it's an x value, it is right here. Right, this is where x equals 3. And now all you got to do is figure out what the corresponding y value is. So I'm going to go all the way up where x equals 3 hits the graph, and it looks like it's right here. So what's the corresponding y value, guys? 4. I'm just going to erase this a little bit. Okay, so we know that g of 3 had a corresponding y value of 4. And just know that they put f of x here, but simple trick, f of x is the same thing as saying y, aka the y-axis. Okay, now we're going to use that new value that was the x value on the outer function and figure out what the new y value is. So basically, we're going to now go to the outer function, which is the f function. And what number are we going to plug in? Oh, it's the answer to the one before. So this is f of 4. And remember, any time that you have a letter or a number in parentheses, right, with functions, this is your new x value. So now I'm looking at the f graph. Okay, so that's this guy. f of 4 is right here. And it looks like it hits the graph, boom, right there. So what's the corresponding y value? Oh, it's 0. So this, the answer, would be 0. Pretty cool, right? So I'm just going to check this guy off. The answer here would be 0. Let's go to the next one. You've got to work inner to outer. So g of 1, this is the x value. I'm going to the g graph. Let's see, the x value was 1, so that's over here. The graph is all the way up here, so... What's the corresponding y value, guys? Oh, it's 3. We did the first part, the beginning part. Now, we just got to go to the outer one. The outer function is f, because it's literally outside the parentheses, and what number is going to be in here? Oh, it's the answer to the other function. And now, since it's in parentheses, that's your new x value. Now we got to go to the f graph. 3. Graph's all the way up here, right? So I shot all the way up here, right? And what's the corresponding y value? 2. And there is your answer. Pretty cool, right? We got two answers real quick. This is fun. Moving on to the third one. Ooh, okay, now it looks like the inner function is the f function. But that's not going to scare us. We know what to do. f of 1. Now we go to the f function. This is your x value. 1 is right here. The graph's all the way up here, so i got to go all the way up. What's the corresponding y value? 3. So f of 1 has an output of 3. And now comes the outer function, which was g. And what's the x value that we're going to plug in? Oh, it's the answer from before, 3. Okay, now we're over here. This is the x value. 
Let's see. X of 3 is here. I got to go all the way up. Boom. What's the corresponding Y value? 4. And that is your answer for this one. Once you guys get the hang of this, I mean, these questions will just, you'll just be able to fly right through them. Last one. F of 0. Do the inner function first. I got to look on this graph because it's an F. 0 is the X. Go all the way up to where it hits the graph. Boom. So the Y value would be 4. Okay. Now, go to the outer function. G, what's this number? The answer to what it was before. And now this is your new X value. G functions are here. 4 on the X. Go all the way up. Hit that graph over here. What's the answer? Five. And there you go. So with these, pretty simple. You just got to know how to work them. And I am positive that you guys know how to do them now. What do you think? Let me know in the com comments. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you would like. Thank you so much for that. And remember, we put the fun in functions. <laughs> corny but if you want to hear more corny jokes hit the subscribe button <laughs> see you guys all in the next video bye bye